Hey guys, you have a triple clef note identification practice exercise that's due, and I want to make sure you know how to generate the uh, progress report that you will need to turn into Canvas. What you can see right here is what the Canvas assignment looks like. Uh, this is the student view. It has really um, scant directions about following the uh, link that's there and then generating that code. So I'm going to take you right now to musictheory.net. I already have followed that code and have it here. You will see what looks like um, uh, it, it's a set of online flashcards. And up at the top bar, you can see where they have um, zero out of zero for zero percent and then three dots here. Uh, it's important for you to remember you need to have 50 correct answers. I don't care if it takes you um, 150 um, tries to get it right. All I care is that you get 50 correct responses. I don't care if you get 100% or 90% or 2%. I just care that you get 50 correct responses. How do you get those responses? Well, these are the letters of the musical alphabet. This is the treble clef staff. And so all you have to do is click. So if you know what this is, you can figure it out. If you figure it out and it's correct, it turns green. You can actually hear the pitch and then it sends you to the next um, the next pitch. Um, this is on the first space. And if you don't know what the um, correct identification is for this pitch, you can actually choose your way through all of them till you find the one that you have. Um, can you see how now I have two correct responses out of eight tries? Yeah, all I care is for the correct amount of responses. So you go through and continue to do this until you get um, all of the ones you need to correct. And um, sometimes that might take you two or three minutes. Sometimes that might take you 15 minutes. Sometimes um, you might not be able to finish it in one setting. If you come back to it um, and don't reset the score, you will um, be able to pick right up where you left off and keep going. So now um, I'm going to go until I get 20 correct responses. We're just going to pretend that's the amount that I needed to get for today. Um, and I'm just telling you, this is really easy once you know how to read off the treble class staff. All right, so I have the 20 responses I need. Next, I have to go to the three dots in the upper right hand corner. The very bottom option is show progress report. When I do that, it comes to this additional screen. On this additional screen, it has a um, snapshot of everything that you've just done. It tells me how long it took you to do this, tells me how many correct you got, it tells me which um, exercise that I assigned and all of the parameters for that assignment, but it doesn't have your name on it. So to sign the report, you need to type your name. Please remember that you have two names I'm impressed with, and so um, you'd best include both. Uh, after you do that, put what period you are in, and then sign the report. You'll notice it generates for you a link and a code. And so if you copy the link or the code, you can then um, you can then copy that into your assignment in the text box. When you do that, if it's not hyperlinked, can you please make sure you get to the end of whatever the link or the code is and then push the space bar because that will automatically link it. If you link it, then all I have to do is click it. It will bring me right back to this and I can get you um, the score for this. In the notes part of any kind of time you do an assignment like this, I will put what you had, the correct amount of responses you had uh, in the notes section. Um, you will use this if you're going to remediate tests for lines and spaces identification. And so this is something that comes back. Um, it is a great way to practice. So if you have a couple of minutes, even if you don't have an assignment that's due, it might be a good time to practice. So good luck. If you have questions, let me know. Um, and uh, see you in the next one.